Welcome everybody to Extreme Off-Road Silly Builds and today we're dealing with the 1987 Ford Sierra Cosworth RS500. Now this has a 1000 horsepower, 854 pounds feet of torque from a 6.2 litre twin turbocharged V8 engine and the car weighs 2710 pounds. It's got all wheel drive, off-road tyres and all off-road suspension and it can do 0 to 16 3.533 seconds, 0 to 106.905 seconds, going on to a top speed of 180 miles an hour. So yeah, Ford had done pretty well on this series before, with a couple of F-150s doing pretty well, and the Ford Falcon XR8 doing pretty well as well. So uh, yeah, I'm hoping this can uh, match the previous success of other Fords, so let's see what it can do. And it's only had rear wheel drive originally, and a, uh, f I think a four cylinder engine, so uh, yeah, it's a little bit different to what it was originally, but it should be able to uh, handle it. It's hardly a slow car originally, so we're not like going to be getting up to high rates of speed on here, so it's certainly not outside of what it was able to do originally. Oh dear. It's the widest we've ever gone on that corner before. issue I can see with this car being is uh, how it deals with the water. Like a lot of cars, it's dependent on uh, a lot of things, but here, it's doing okay I guess. Certainly not as good as like the Ford F-150s, they've done pretty well in the series, but they were large off-roaders. This isn't so, uh, it's nowhere a real surprise that it's slower than those big off-road vehicles. But unlike those big off-road vehicles, this is a lot lighter, a lot more agile, better in terms of handling, and should technically be able to go to higher rates of speed. And to be honest, it's dealing with all these bumps and jumps okay, so they haven't got the advantage in that kind of capacity, it's only really the water that they uh, have the advantage. Come on. Well, that's pretty decent to be honest. It's only not f a couple of seconds or so far off the uh, F-150s, but at 2 minute 5.726 seconds, it's still hardly the quickest that we've had. But, you know, it's uh, certainly uh, matched some cars. It's actually as because the uh, 1991 Jeep Grand Wagoneer, which also means it's quicker than the Ford Shelby GT500, so we've got two Fords in a row there. Uh, it's also quicker than the Renault 5 Turbo, the Land Rover Series 3, the Nissan Titan Warrior, and the uh, likes of the Hot Wheels Rip Rod, and uh, the Dodge Dart GT, and the Bentley Continental GT Speed. But it is slower than the BMW X M, the Bentley Bentayga, and uh, the BMW X5 M. So, uh, yeah, it's not as quick as some modern off-roaders, but it's uh, as quick as a uh, mod an off-roader from around the time that this car was out. And, uh, yeah, it's uh, quicker than a uh, brand new Ford. So, uh, well, almost brand new Ford. So, yeah, that's uh, pretty decent. It didn't really have any issues at all, really. It was only the water that was slowing it down. I uh, fully expect that this car would have been a lot quicker, maybe even contending for the top spot if it was quicker for the water because it was barely able to do 80 at the beach and uh, yeah the quickest of vehicles can do 111 I think that would have made a world of difference maybe two three seconds so uh, yeah it's just basically the kind of car that it is really that let it down on the water but everywhere else it's pretty solid handling wise acceleration wise I was getting up to 150 mile an hour towards the end uh, before we hit the water at the beach and uh, yeah handled all the off-road elements fine quite frankly so yeah no real complaints to be honest and uh, yeah pretty much a solid vehicle all around just a shame it couldn't be a little bit quicker anyway thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye